here with wearthesamurai.com just taking a quick initial impressions of a series of tanto that I recently ordered. Now this is going to be for a larger comparison against this tanto. This is the Cold Steel Imperial O Tanto which I reviewed uh, extensively on the website. You can go check out that review and there'll be links at the bottom of this. Uh, so you can check that out and I'm going to be doing a comparison of several other tanto on the market and how they match up against this. Um, so we're going to put that to the side for now and we're going to have a look at what arrived. Uh, so again these are my initial impressions and I've pre-slid the box for convenience so we don't have to waste time for that. So this has arrived in a 2020 by 8 round box uh, and these were all ordered from Cult of Athena. And again, there will be links to each of these if you want to pick them up yourself. Um, so it starts with some brown wrapping paper. Uh, and the first box is a very small white box uh, that says, Caution, the contents of this package are very sharp and can cause injury. Please exercise care during unpacking. Right there. So we'll come back to that. And then there's some documentation from Cult of Athena. And this is just listing the order. Um, so what we're going to be looking at is a Rayman Folded Steel Dragon Tanto, a Hanway Practical Plus Tanto, and a Mashiro Midnight Tanto. So we'll be looking at each of these and seeing how we get on. Um, again, that's just another document set. So we can put that aside. Put that aside. And what we have now are two more boxes. Brown box, untaped. And another slightly more robust brown box, again untaped. And then in the bottom we have more brown paper and that's it. So fairly well packaged and very secure, which is excellent. Um, so let us start with this one. So we open that up and there is a red box inside that says Dragon Blade. So this is the initial impressions, I would say, of the Mashahiro Midnight Tanto. So we'll take that out and throw that over there. So again, this has the hilarious Dragon Blade down the side. I mean, Dragon Blade written across here. Uh, that's kind of funny, I won't lie to you. Um, okay, and inside we have uh, Tanto in a bag secured by styrofoam. So we'll have a look at this. Put that to one side as well. So, cloth bag feels okay. Um, fairly decently stitched. Drawstring top. That's unusual. I haven't seen that before. Okay. Alright. So this is indeed the Mashihiro. Uh, midnight style. Tanto. And as you'll note, this is without a suba. There's no suba on this style of tanto. You can have a closer look there. And again, I'll be providing high res images for all of this later on. Uh, initial impressions of this, however, uh, this is quite cheap and frayed and short. Uh, the fittings are okay. This is a lovely black gloss finish, fitted very well. The Kagashira here is lovely, actually. Quite nice design. Very nice design. And again, here, the end fittings, uh, the Fukushira here are quite nice. The Minuki look quite plasticky. And it's only on one side. The Makugi pin is ill fitted to this. Um, the wrap here is a fake leather pleather, extremely badly tied, uh, quite loose, very loose. And the Makugi, uh, sorry, the Makugi, the um, Minuki is all over the place. So that's very, very loose. It's extremely badly tied. And this fitting is completely off. Um, they're completely exposed and off. That is absolutely horrific. And again, you can see the 
fraying all along here and along here of the cheap leather or fake imitation leather. On um, closer inspection, the semi, the wrap itself is completely fake and looks glued on in individual little plastic dots. And actually the wood of the ska appears to be cracked and exposed just above my finger there. And again, we'll have high res shots of this. Okay, so that's the initial impressions of the fittings. Let's have a look at the blade itself. Okay, nice secure position within the side. No buffalo horn, it's straight wood. Fairly well carved, not cracked. That's okay. And the blade itself. The blade is straight, nice weight to it. Nice weight. The wrap on the um, scar here is, is a little uncomfortable, but it's got a nice weight to it. Um, the habaki is a little bit ill-fitting on the rear and on the right hand side. Um, well that's okay. It's got two very light bohi carved into it. The ham on is definitely wire brushed from what I can tell. Yeah that's absolutely wire brushed and it doesn't even extend all the way to the kasaki. Oh that is disgraceful. Um, let's see if I can show you that there. It's finishing just here on the Kasaki, so it's not extending all the way around and it's very clearly wire brushed. Okay, we'll grab some paper and see if we can do a paper cutting test. paper and we'll see how sharp this is um, and of course we'll be doing proper uh, testing with all of this later on we'll be doing uh, full testing on uh, tatame so we'll see how well it is at Tsumishigiri so basic paper cutting test Excellent. All right, let's move on to the next one. 